Strong musical character is something most composers aim at. Here are some ideas about how best to achieve it. Looking at any film, the power of music in this regard is immediately obvious. Take away the music from a given scene, and the emotional impact will usually be much reduced. Musical character works on the listener extremely fast, and without having to explain all the details of the story. There are countless examples of this by great film composers. Musical character is always the result of a combination of several dimensions of the music. Although most music schools concentrate on harmony and form in musical analysis, it's important to remember that timbre, tempo, articulation, and register have an enormous impact on perceived character. Let's take this example. As it is here, most people would find this melancholy or nostalgic. The quiet, singing oboe line, accompanied by soft legato strings, evokes a kind of gentle sadness. The andante tempo also contributes to the mood. But now, here's the same idea, same melody and harmony, but with several dimensions changed. Would anybody really find the character the same here? Although the dynamic is still soft, the tempo is quicker, and the tuba part is mostly detached, staccato. The bit staccato strings also contribute to a more playful character. And how about this version? Here the main line is doubled in four octaves by all the brass, playing fortissimo and accented. Winds and strings add loud accented chords. The overall result is much more aggressive, almost angry. The point here is that the composer needs to consider all these various dimensions in creating musical character, not just pitch and rhythm. It can be very revealing to experiment with a given idea by changing the register, tempo, articulation, timbre. Often you'll find that some of these variants will be more expressive than the original version. Even apart from film music, this is a worthwhile exercise. Sometimes you'll even discover a more convincing version of your original idea. Another application of this kind of experimentation is when you're writing a longer piece and you need contrasting material. Varying a previous idea in these ways can provide strong, striking contrasts that are nonetheless related to the previous version. The advantage here is that if you're using two versions of the same idea, transitioning between them becomes very easy. Just gradually change the dimension or dimensions you've altered in order to move from one to the other. One idea I often suggest to students, especially those interested in film music, is that they start by making a glossary of musical characters, including all the aspects of the music that can be relevant. As an example, let's think of how we create an angry, forceful character. Dynamics, loud. Timbre, brass. Harmony, rather dissonant. Register, say, middle and low. Articulation, accented, somewhat detached. This is pretty close to our third example above. Of course, you don't always have to use all these things at the same time, but it's a good idea to get into the habit of thinking this way. Another point about this kind of character glossary is it makes it easier to get the degree of emotion required. For example, if a scene in a film requires something less aggressive, you could simply attenuate some of the aspects of the music. Let's see how this works. Here's a toned-down version of our second example above. This might be useful as, say, a recollection of the original one. The bassoon here is less extreme in register than the tuba, and the string chords are tenuta rather than pizzicato. Using a character glossary doesn't mean there are no solutions that fall outside of these suggestions. For example, we could create an angry aggressive character with strings alone, playing loud accent to dissonant chords. But if the strings were soft, smooth, and with consonant harmony, and playing very quietly, you wouldn't get the desired result. Since strong character is a common goal for most composers, these ideas should help you make your music more expressive and convincing.